Uh, not again. Ah, ah. 11.66, that's not enough. Give her the old reset. Gotta charge off the truck. Oh, good morning, everyone. This has been happening way too often. I've been getting woken up from low voltage alerts because the battery's not charged. Of course, the sun is almost out and uh, we'll only need to run the truck for a moment just to peak the voltage, but I'm getting kind of annoyed with it waking me up and I think there's a better solution. So let's dive into that in today's video. Uh, but first I gotta clean up, make some coffee. No, our lights actually work. So that's how I test if uh, the system has been tripped or not, is just by turning the lights on by the bed. If they don't go on, I know. But yeah, you'll see our Rickson's heater system here. This thing draws quite a bit of power. Moving into winter, we're running that a lot more, but we're charging up 12.25 volts. And the crazy thing is we're at 95% capacity. This is just a voltage issue. So, oh, like I said, let's clean up in here a little bit and take care of this problem. It's always nicer with the blinds off the windows. We can see that the sun's almost up. Thank God, because we need some solar. You see the sun starting to come out, hitting the rig right here, so that should be enough. Pretty soon it'll be hitting the solar panels. Introducing a beautiful warning. Hey, there's the sun. Well, this, this right here. This is how I plan to solve that problem. Come on, Coach, come check it out. That's right, Bubba's. This is our new solar field. Oh, and her new little jacket that Amanda got for her. Isn't that cute? But yeah, check this out, you guys. We've got a legit portable solar field set up. These are the Blue Eddy PV350 solar panels. So they're 350 watts each so that's a whopping 700 watts total right here we've got some pretty good panel coverage right now a little bit of shade because there is quite a bit of trees up in these parts well they even have these adjusters here so it says 45 degrees you could move this up or down to change the angle of the panel to adjust how much sun it's getting so right now they are going to check it out you guys this is the new Blue Eddy Elite 200. 2600 watt inverter in this bad boy. 2073 watt hours, which is pretty crazy. If you saw, we just tested the AC 180, which is basically half the capacity of this, but with the new battery tech that's in the Elite 200, they're like the same size. This is the old Blue Eddy AC 180. It's 1152 watt hours. Below it is the new Elite 200, 2,073 watt hours with a 2,600 watt inverter. This one's got an 1,800 watt inverter. They are about the same size, you guys. The 200's a little bit heavier, but really crazy that they've been able to pack 2,073 watt hours into the Elite 200 with a 2,600 watt inverter. It got hot with the sun coming out. So the plan is when nighttime comes, the rig won't be getting any more solar. If and when it gets this low voltage alert and starts flashing, I'll plug the rig in to this power station to charge it all up. So I'm really hoping that'll work. First step though, of course, is to charge up the power station with the solar. Look at that. We've got over 400 watts coming in right now. As you can see right there, this thing will charge it up in 3.7 hours, getting 411 watts. All things considered, that's pretty fantastic. And this thing at 100% is gonna be more than we'll need to jump the Fuso. 
I do have some uploading to do today though, which requires a lot of power. I've got to power my computer, but also the Starlink. So while we are charging this up for a home backup, I still need to use the power today. So let's plug the Starlink in, see how she goes. Starlink shoot in the right direction. I'm also gonna plug this extension cord in that will run up into the camper to keep my laptop charged. We're connected to the down to mob Starlink, baby. Believe it or not, uploading videos actually takes a lot of power because my Starlink is not yet converted to 12 volt and I have to run my laptop the whole time while I'm uploading. All right, we got the hot spring video uploading, 7%, not bad. Figure we should also charge some other stuff up <coughs> while we're uh, got power here going. So, wow, we're at 39% already. Look at that, 435 watts, you guys. Plugging our headlamp in, GoPro. We're bringing in 430 watts means we can charge this thing up, even running everything we are in six hours. All right, well, I got some editing to do, so let's get after it as our solar farm collects all the power in the world. All righty, got a lot done there. That was a real productive day editing. Let's go see how much power we got. The sun's just about done. Turn our AC port off, turn the power station off. Unplug our Starlink and our all of our cords and we'll bring this. The cab of the truck. Then we'll get our extension cord and plug it in right here. Run it up. And then I can pull this piece down the pass through, pop through here, give that a little go, and charge up the camper just like that. Well, I'm sitting here watching Netflix and this thing's beeping at me again. 12.03, 12.02. It's about to go below 12, so it's not very happy. So let's go plug in the power station and get this home all charged up. I'm gonna turn off the heater for a minute because it's plenty warm in here. Yeah, let's turn this light on so you guys can see what's going on here. All right, so we'll hit the AC. Right here in the output, it'll start pulling a ton probably. Oh yeah, look at that. It's starting to pull over a thousand, nine hundred, a thousand, eleven hundred. My light's having trouble staying on. Eleven seventy-six. Look at that. All right, well it's cold in the cab, so let's keep that in there and then go look and see what it's charging up at over here. This is a fun test because it's going really well. 13.1, <laughs> 13.01, 13 13.02. Oh, this is amazing. 96.6%, so we've only got a little bit to go. 99.9%, .9%, you guys, we're almost at 100. 13.36 volts. We made it to 100, 13.36 volts. So let's go see what the Blue Eddy has in store for us. How much power do you have, Blue Eddy? Still 20% left, look at that. So we got two charges out of 45%, almost. We'll turn that off right now though, and shut her down for the night. Awesome. Wow, the sun's out. Morning codes. Love a girl. What a beautiful day. But the moment of truth. Hey, nice. 
Our light turns on, which means our breaker didn't break, which means the power station charged up my whole mom wheels Mitsubishi Fuso just enough. So we got plenty of power. And that is a beautiful thing. If you're in need of a power station, I highly encourage you to check out Blue Eddy, specifically the new Elite 200. It's a bunch of power packed into an even smaller package and it powered the Starlink internet to upload this video to you. It powered the cameras to shoot this video. It powered my laptop to edit this video. Um, without Blue Eddy, you wouldn't be seeing me right now. So it's literally that big a part of my life, these power stations and I feel very fortunate to have the support and to be able to have these units um, so that I don't have to refresh the Fuso electrical system completely right now. We can do what's easy, get a power station and just plug it in. Um, down the line, I do want to look at removing these batteries and running this entire camper off of a Blue Eddy power station. but. That's going to be in a future video. So comment what you thought of this one. Like it if you enjoyed it. And uh, really the only question is, are you down to mob with a blue Eddie? <laughs>